Hello YouTube, it's Sydney Island here. That's Island with a Y, not an S. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be all about what's going on for Tauruses in the month of November, December, the end of the year, early 2020. Like what I've been feeling intuitively for Tauruses because I do meditate and I'm a very spiritual person and I'm a very intuitive person. And I do feel a lot, um, you know, for Tauruses and for just what's been going on in the stars. Like, I always just feel very uh, in tuned with the cosmos. It sounds very hippie, but yeah, I'm always very in tuned with you know the spirit realm. I've just been born that way. Some could call it psychic. I have had visions of the future and dreams and all types of stuff. Y'all can y'all can definitely rely on on my uh, my input for what's going on with Tauruses because I'm a Taurus, okay? And that's really why I'm doing this video. I know the struggle of being a Taurus, and I know the the great things about being a Taurus, and um, I just want to make videos that can, you know, make other Tauruses feel better. Because Tauruses, we go through some things that people don't know about. And we do struggle a lot emotionally. So, um, what I do feel for Tauruses as far as the end of the year and early 2020 is um, that we have worked really, really hard um, for years. We've been building a lot of stuff and, and very recently, and I'm speaking for myself and Tauruses that I know and just the energy that I feel for Tauruses in general and just the energy that I picked up on while watching tarot card videos for Tauruses and stuff like that. Tauruses, we recently have just figured out what we really wanted to do. <laughs> what we really want to do uh, for the rest of our lives, the impression that we want to make on people, the type of businesses that we want to run. A lot of Tauruses, we are starting new businesses, venturing out and trying new things, and we've been working hard. We've been working really hard over the past few months, and I feel that finally, towards the end of this year, like maybe the end of November, um, early December, I, find, I feel that finally, all of our hard work is going to pay off. Like we have planted so many seeds for months, working hard, crying, asking God, like, please just, just give me the reward already. Like I'm tired of working hard. I'm tired of doing, I'm tired of working this nine to five, standing on my feet. I just want the reward. I just want that early vacation. I just want that money. I just want to be able to be the boss that I know that I am on the inside. I'm speaking from experience. I'm speaking from my heart. And I'm speaking from what I'm seeing from other Tauruses. I've noticed that a lot of Tauruses are stepping more into their 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 destiny and their life path. And they're finally believing in their abilities. And um, that's what's been going on for me and, like I said, other Tauruses. Because I'll be watching. I'll be watching. I watch all Zodiac signs because I'm, I'm an astrologist. But... I'll be, I be, I be watching these Tauruses and seeing what's going on, you know, and seeing how their lives align with mine. And oftentimes it does in a weird way. A lot of Tauruses' lives, we all align with each other. Just like all Aries' lives in a way aligns with each other in some kind of way. We all, we all, because we all share a similar energy around our personality. And um, what I've been seeing is that Tauruses, we about to get that cash. We about to get that reward. It may not even be money, but I really do feel that it's, financial abundance is also um, starting a business and being able to actually follow through with it and being able to actually you know um, see it because we have been planning a lot behind closed doors but it's like finally we're putting it to action and man it's gonna be dope <laughs> It's gonna be dope. It really is. It's gonna be something special. Like we we are finally just stepping into who we are. I, I just I just feel this is a great time for Tarsus as far as business go, as far as uh, our art and our creativity goes. If you're a Taurus who does music, which I am, and I know a lot of Tarsus who do because Tarsus are very musically inclined. If you're a Taurus who does music. You better start putting that music out. And I'm talking to myself because I've been making music for years and I have so many great songs and I'm finally making the music for YouTube. And it's like, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Like I can just feel the energy. Like all my dreams are about to come true, you know? And, um, man, <laughs> I'm going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked too, Taurus. You're going to be shocked too, okay? And um, also, um, relationship-wise, is relationships are always complicated for a Taurus let's just be real because planet Venus rules Taurus and Libra and Venus seems to be it revolves around relationships a lot because Libra and Tauruses are very um 
oftentimes Libra and Tauruses are not content unless they're in a relationship with somebody um, that they feel comfortable with. Um, Tauruses and Libras are very relationship oriented people. So, man, when I get to the topic of relationships, it's always complicated for me because I'm a Taurus and Tauruses, we can kind of complicate relationships. And what I've noticed is a lot of Tauruses will be, will be like celibate and single for a long time, which I'm speaking for myself because we have such high standards. That's number one. Um, so if you're a single Taurus, you're probably single because you have very high standards for yourself. You, um, also, Tauruses view sex, like Tauruses are very serious when it comes to sex. We view sex as um, an exchanging of, of energies with another person. We view sex as, as you know, connecting with another soul. So sex is just very serious to Tauruses. So if you're a single Taurus, it's because you just have high standards. And a lot of people out here are trash, okay? And, and they don't meet up to our standards. And it's not that we necessarily think that we're better than anybody. It's just that we know what we want and a lot of people just don't have it, okay? But I do feel that very soon, Tarsus, you are going to meet some very significant people, you know. It may not necessarily be romantic, but I feel that it, on a business front and on a friendship front, Tarsus are going to meet some very significant people very soon, okay. So if you believe it, it is possible. But if you say, nah, that ain't true, us Tarsus ain't about to yada yada yada, then it's not going to happen for you, okay. So it's all about the law of attraction. If you really believe it, then it's going to happen, okay. And I believe it. You know, some very significant, special people are coming into my life very soon. It's got a manifestation, law of attraction. And so, um, when it comes to relationships, I, man, it's crazy, but I finally, just over the past few weeks, have finally been able to say to myself, I can have healthy relationships. I can have healthy romantic relationships. I can be open in these relationships and express what I want and what I don't want. And I'm finally able to say that because I couldn't before. Like, I just had a very negative um, outlook on relationships. And I kind of felt like I was cursed or doomed and that I just couldn't find anybody. And that I'd probably be single forever. And even though deep down inside I didn't really feel that. I don't really feel that. I don't think I'm going to die alone. I really don't. Um, but, of course, um, just as a Taurus you know we can just be very we can be very cynical when it comes to relationships and i think that's also why uh, a lot of tauruses are single but hey if you believe it if you believe that you are about to uh be with somebody who's very significant somebody who um, makes you feel loved and special if you feel that that person is coming then that person is coming it's, it's all up to you you have that power you just gotta really really truly believe it without any fear without letting any past mistakes and any past traumas get in the way of that belief okay so yeah um <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a very exciting time for Tauruses okay just keep your head up and be positive okay and um just I know that there is a Taurus there are Tauruses out there who have been in relationships with people who have taken advantage of them because Tauruses are very kind big-hearted people and we always want to bend over backwards and do stuff for people we can a little we can be people pleasers a little bit um, and I feel that we can be people pleasers so much that we end up compromising so much in a relationship that we feel walked over and we feel used. So stand up for yourself, Taurus. This is the time. This definitely is the time. Stand up for yourself and don't allow yourself to be in a relationship that you are not happy in, period. And if you're in a relationship that you're not happy in, you need to go on a retreat and be by yourself and love yourself first because that's really um the realization that I've been finding is that I can't be in this wholesome beautiful relationship if I don't have a wholesome beautiful relationship with myself it all starts with you you know and and that's a uh, issue with a lot of Tauruses is that we want love so bad like we really do we're romantics at heart like deep romantics we we love love we love intimacy and affection and and all that you know sentimental love stuff we love it and we crave it so much but for some reason we seem like out of all the signs the one that's always without it you know Ugh, god 
and it's just I keep seeing it. I keep seeing it with so many Tauruses, male and female. It's just this repetitive thing that I've seen, and it kind of frustrates me because it's like, come on, Tauruses. Maybe if we all get together and motivate each other as Tauruses, like I don't know what we need to do, but it's crazy because. Tauruses, we make the best partners. We make the best wives and husbands. Yet and still, we're always the one that's single. Like, what's up with that? Like, <laughs> we make the best lovers. Like, I don't understand it. But I think that it really just boils down to the fact that we don't love ourselves enough. You know, we don't put enough value in ourselves. So, oof, man. <laughs> The energies is good right now. Like, oh my god. I just love when I film a video and I say exactly what I've been trying to say. I hate getting tongue tied, you know, when I make videos because I just have so many thoughts and I just want to get it out, you know. Um, and I still, I'm, ah, blah, nah. see, I'm tongue tied. I'm still very tongue tied because Mercury is in retrograde and I freaking hate Mercury, okay? Stop retrograding. Frick. I'm trying not to cuss, okay? But, um, yeah, Taurus says, get ready, because something big is coming, okay? Something big is coming, baby, okay? So work hard. Keep hustling. Out of all the signs in the Zodiac, Taurus, we know how to hustle more than any sign in the Zodiac. Taurus are natural hustlers. We know how to get that bread, okay? We know how to get that cha cha ching coin coin <laughs> okay? We know. <laughs> so um, go ahead and hustle. And Tarsus, we also often are very lucky people. See how I keep getting tongue-tied because this freaking Mercury retrograde? Or maybe it's just me, the fact that I have anxiety. I don't know. But we're often very lucky people. So if you really put in that effort, you're going to get some, some rewards back, you know? So, yeah, this is this is, this is is Taurus's time. We have struggled a lot. And we have, I feel like the one of the biggest things that Taurus have dealt with lately is loneliness. Like, not even lately, but over the span of the past few years, I feel like the biggest... Uh, issue for Tauruses have been loneliness and just feeling like even if we do have loved ones and people who care about us that we can't go to them and talk to them about what we really go through because Tauruses also have this, this chronic fear of judgment not all Tauruses of course there's there's you know plenty of Tauruses who just don't give a f okay um but um for the Tauruses that do you know it can be really hard to open up because horses, we don't open up very quickly and very easily to people anyways because we have trust issues and we have a fear of people, um, you know, taking advantage of us and using our vulnerabilities against us and stuff like that. It, ha it has happened to me in the past, so I'm a little guarded when it comes to open up about my feelings. It's crazy because I can open up about how I feel on YouTube, but like when it comes to like people in my real life, sometimes it can be a little bit hard. But that's not to say that I don't open up because if I have a couple confidants, I'm good, okay? Yeah, Tauruses. Love yourselves, okay? Create your art, create your music, do you. It's all about just doing you and being creative. I feel like that the main energy right now that I'm feeling is creativity, business, and money. Like, work on those things, okay? And, you know, the Tarsus that's in relationships, God, I can't even say anything for y'all because I'm never in a relationship, okay? I can't really give you advice on relationships except to say, even if you're with somebody else, make sure that you're loving yourself. Make sure that you're, that you're taking care of yourself and that you're not being too clingy or too dependent. Um, make sure that you can be somewhat self-reliant just in case because you never know what can happen, you know. That's 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 pretty much it. I don't like my videos to go on for too long. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. 2020 is going to be a great year for you, Taurus. You are finally going to just do what you've always wanted to do. If you work hard and if you believe, okay? So, bye-bye, love.